everybody, welcome. Hopefully everybody's having a great morning. Our name is Ryan from McLeod Technology. And yeah, this is part two of fixing the capping station. Um, we are gonna fix that today. And yeah, get to it. Hi, this is Jay again from McLeod Technology. And today we're going to replace the capping station. And for us to do that, we need to actually access the inside of the right side of the printer. And what we are going to do is we are just going to remove this uh, right cover. Right. Uh, you might need screwdrivers here. And I think that's number two, number one. I believe so. Yeah. So um. we, just unscrew, we just unscrew stuff basically. And we just have to remove this control panel here. We remove the two screws here. And then there are two screws on this side here. Oh, this is, okay. And there are screws, five screws on the back. And we have to remove the ink bay cover as well. So there are also two screws. Yeah, there's screws, two screws here. Yeah, that's, that's it. it. And then and also you have to remove the maintenance tank first. Yeah, this tank as well. So we can go ahead and remove that. You have to remove this first before we are able to actually remove Start the yeah. okay. So the first step is actually to remove the control panel. You might need a broad all or like a pick for that. There are like the, what is this called? Notches on, on the side. All you have to do is just push it, push this, and this is how you access it. And now you can actually unplug this data cable from the control panel. Okay, now that's done. I'll put this, this aside. Now we unscrew the top part. I'll be helping Jay right now, so let me put this down and then we'll continue. So the leakage is actually right here, if you can yeah. see. Right There's there. nothing we can do for that, but replace the entire thing. But the, it's really easy to remove a capping station, honestly, because all we have to do is remove this bracket here, this metal bracket here, and it only has like one, two, three screws. And the last screw, would, this is one, two, three, so four screws. You only have to remove four screws. The fourth screw is actually uh, here attached to the wall of the, the main printer body it's over there and it's actually just the 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 one screw that's holding the capping station in place so i usually remove this one first if it was just... uh, yeah. i don't know if you can see it you yeah, can see, see it, it. Then before you remove the capping station, you have to unplug all those wires. Wires that are connected to the uh, capping station don't necessarily have to remove the entire thing, but most of them are actually attached to the, 
they were mostly attached to the capping station anyway. You also need to remove the tooth uh, going to the waste tank. Now we can remove the back. You just have to pull it a little bit up because there's like a hook that's, atta uh, that's attached to the wall of the main body of the printer. So pull it up. And there you go. Capping station now. And it's removed. Yep. You can also see it's like color coded, but at the same time, even if it's the same color, there's different heads. As you can see, this is four heads, and the other one, also, this one has. So you can't miss them. Three heads. Yeah, you can't miss them. So it's hard to miss them. It's not gonna fit. So, okay. Yeah. So wrong. they might be the same colors, but they have different heads. So it's easy to tell and see the difference. Here is the new one. Yeah, so there's, there's one a, here okay. and then one here. And it corresponds with this and this okay. one over here. So yes, okay. And then here's a bracket right there to that one. There you go. And now we just have to screw it. Spilled like, like a good amount of like ink. I, I just cleaned it a bit. So now there's almost. It's like spilled a good amount of ink. Do it to the motherboard. So, like, so, so, so this is the motherboard. Yeah. Yeah. Spilled some ink. That caused the issue. And since we changed the motherboard, not it's. You actually, it's.